Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. So at the bottom of the deck we have the temperance and this is Sagittarius energy so this is an energy of someone who wants to be patient with you this is someone who wants to compromise with you is this energy of someone wanting to be more gentle with you um, this person cares and they they want to take a more caring approach when it comes to the situation this person feels like you guys can make something work if you guys could compromise it's like they want to make something work with you and they are um tempering themselves in some way with this energy it's like they want to um have a more neutral approach to the situation it's like they don't want to get carried away with their feelings um this is someone who wants to it's like they want to be the bigger person in the situation okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the four of pentacles earth energy the queen of pentacles earth energy and the ace of cups water energy so this person they want to take this approach because they care for you they don't want to lose you um this person wants to hold on to the connection they have with you and there's this realization that they need to be more grounded in order to make this work there is this energy of wanting to put um you know puts their needs um on the back burner in some way because they they don't want to lose this connection this person feels like you guys can have a successful new beginning in your love um this person sees you as the one they want to work on things with you this is someone who's not ready to let go um they don't want anyone else so there's this energy of they want to fight for this connection but they want to take a less aggressive approach to do that so this person they feel like you guys can um you know, almost like they want to hear your side so that you can hear them out so that you guys can work together to save and maintain this connection. Um, this person has a lot of love for you with that Ace of Cups and with the Queen of Pentacles, it's like they see you as the ideal person for them. There's this energy that this person sees you as irreplaceable. They see you as one of a kind. They see you as someone who is a treasure, someone who they would be lucky to be with. And so they don't want to compromise the connection. There's this energy of being willing to, um, you know, really to be, to, 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 uh, um, you know, to do right by you, to show up in a more, um, conscious way with the temperance being there um, for the sake of this connection okay so there is this energy here of someone who is wanting to mature for this connection so let's clarify these cards um cancer At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon, and this is Pisces energy. Okay, so there's this uh, energy of this connection feels uh, fated to this person. It feels spiritual. There's this. It's like they feel like it's um, irreplaceable. It's it's not. It's a very rare type of connection to them, um, and 
there is also some fears when it comes to this connection um, with the moon card being here. There's this energy here of this person fearing being swept away or overtaken by this connection. So they are trying to moderate themselves so as not to get overwhelmed by this connection. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse and this is Water Energy. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy and the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So again, we have that Three of Pentacles. This person wants to fix the connection. They want to fix something within the connection and they want to work as a team. They want, you know, they, there's this energy of wanting to compromise, wanting to uh, get on the same page to fix this so that there can be a new start in this love. Um, with the Hierophant, there's this energy of lessons being learned. There's something about the past that, they, there's something here about a past disappointment or a, a past approach that didn't work out in favor of this connection this person wants to let go of the past the mistakes of the past and uh you know have some sort of new beginning and it's like they've learned a lesson there's this maturing energy with the hierophant here. and again the hierophant is a very spiritual energy with this temperance as well this person feels like this this is a spiritual connection it's 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 very it's very deep it transcends the three and it's like it's not um it's not an ordinary connection. That's they, they they see the value in this connection, and there's this energy of them feeling like they can't let go of this connection, um, and this this is something that scares them, but it's also something something that motivates them to keep trying, um, to keep pushing to make this work. And this person believes in this connection. They feel like they made you for a reason. They feel like you have a higher purpose in their life and they have a higher purpose in your life. And there's this, it's like this, this is a connection that has the potential to be divine. And with the higher fans, it's like it can be leading to some sort of high level of commitment, like um, a higher level of commitment, like marriage or, you know, there's just something about this connection that they feel is fated and meant for. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn okay so this person they want to leave behind some sort of disappointment in the past so they want to focus on creating a new beginning with you in love and they want to put an end to suffering they want to put an end to something that wasn't working some sort of approach wasn't working in the past and it led to more pain and disappointment than anything and this person wants to heal from that they want you guys to work through that and um, have some sort of new cycle start. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Cancer. says you deserve love you are lovable okay so this person really does love you um this person is very focused on you there is this energy of looking at you as someone who they it's like they they're focused on you they have eyes for only you there's this like no one else you know can compare they can't replace you they feel like this connection is it, it's it's very rare it's it's it, it, it there's something about it the, the extra components is not something that can easily be replicated because there's also the spiritual factor to it. And um, again, seeing someone who's very focused or concentrated on something, they're aiming at you. There's, there's no one else that has their attention because this person, they actually feel love towards you. They love you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Cancer. lilac first emotions of love love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat okay so this person their feelings for you are very intense 
um, they love you deeply, but, but it's, it's like it scares them. And so they are trying to temper that um, so as to, you know, have a better impact on this connection. So this person is like their feelings run very deep for you. And there is this energy of in the past, it may have caused some sort of problems. And um, it's like there's, an, there's a past energy where it's characterized by disappointment or some sort of hurt. Someone got hurt or both people got hurt. And it's like this person, they want to start fresh. You know, with the first emotions of love, there was a first a beginning, a first time where um, you guys may have connected and felt a deep interest in each other. But it's like this person recognizes that um, you can't keep chasing the first emotions of love. This person wants to nurture this connection so that, um, you know, the love can be constant, consistent. Um, it's like they, they instead of trying to get that high, that honeymoon phase back, this person wants to settle down with you. They want to ground the connection. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.